Ja, vad säger ni? Vi som gillar luftkylt. Fyra cylindrar, sex cylindrar eller tolv cylindrar. My, my name is Mark Finberg. Um, this car has been in the family for a very long time. We bought it in 1973 from the Porsche factory when no one wanted them. And uh, we, 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 we'd wanted one. So we went down to the Porsche factory and found it in the yard at the back of the factory, not, in a, not, not under cover, covered in snow. And uh, we asked Jürgen Bart, well, where is it? And he said, well, underneath one of those piles of snow somewhere. So we went, and we saw the blue and the orange and we thought, well, we'll have that one. And so we did, and we've had it ever since. Well, so have, have you been racing actively with it? Uh, only for the first two years. And after we blew the engine twice, we thought it's enough. Uh, <laughs> but, but tell me about the engine. I mean, this is, must be the most legendary of Porsche engines. Well, it's a 12-cylinder, twin-plug, 4.9-litre engine. Uh, and they developed it very quickly indeed but basically what they did they had a 908 engine and they, they added four more cylinders to it and uh, so so that's what it is and it's about well, the last time we had it rebuilt it was about 600 horsepower it's probably rather less now but it doesn't get used very much I must admit because it's old uh, we keep it we keep it as original as possible uh, most of it is a lot of the mechanics have been rebuilt but inside uh, the seats and all the inside, is, it's all original, the bodywork's all original, which you can see it's sort of got cracks in it. Um, and, uh, but I think it's probably only, what do they call it, unmolested uh, Porsche 917 there is now, because most of the, the others have been all totally rebuilt. Uh, this one hasn't, and, and, and it might get rebuilt sooner or later, but uh, not while I'm around. But I have to ask you, because being a air-cooled fanatic, well, you know, I really love this car. How is it to drive that 12-cylinder air-cooled engine? Well, it, it, it's just like a big Volkswagen, really, uh, <laughs> which is what it is. To, to drive it ordinarily, ordinary people, it's not very difficult. But if you get it on the edge, and ordinary people can't get it on the edge, I mean, the likes of Derek Bell, he used to drive that car, and he said, well, if you get it on the edge, it's very difficult indeed. But uh, for us, it, it, it's quite easy. You don't have to take weightlifting exercises to push the clutch down. It goes down and it comes back again. Uh, but the gears are a bit difficult until the, until the oil gets warmed up. And of course, here it never does get warmed up. So you have to be careful with the gears. If you miss a gear, um, you can get a very, very big bill indeed uh, for, for fixing it. Uh, which is what we did twice. So, and, and what about the future for the car? Do you have any more in your family who drives it or have an interest in well, it? Well, I'm, I'm the only one. I know my nephew would like to drive it, and sooner or later he probably will. I mean, he's quite a good racing driver. He, we've got a Ford GT40, and he drives that for us, and a, and, and a C-Type Jaguar, and he drives that as well. And, uh, but he hasn't got to this yet. I suppose he will sooner or later. My children are two daughters, and they think, uh, cars are nasty, polluting inventions of the devil, and they don't want I to. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm in that position myself. <laughs> and they don't want to go near it. Uh, so uh, it's me that drives it at the moment. And the, the, the great thing is that they were only built for little people, which suits me fine because anyone might, you wouldn't be able to drive it because you couldn't sit in there with a helmet on and shut the door, and you wouldn't be, get, be able to get your knees behind the steering wheel. So, uh, 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 so it's your car basically yeah yes it is it is we uh, i've driven it for years now and i've got some idea of how it works uh, and gary there looks after it for me uh, he, he does a lot of work on it and so uh, and it's it's so far quite reliable but we don't try very hard anymore but, but hard enough you, it sounds beautiful when you come down there gets it gets treated um, as an old as an old man like me, you see. <laughs>